Hey, it's Harker from Play. And today let's talk about the anime block in Interactions 2.0. So in Interactions mode right now, I have a tap trigger and I have three set position Y actions. Each of them have the animate switch turned on and they have the exact same animate properties. So when I try this on my iOS device, I can tap and all of the objects will animate into place at the exact same time. Now this works, but it's a bit cumbersome when you have a bunch of moving pieces and all of them have their own animation settings. So that is where the animate block comes in. So on my tap trigger, I can add an animate block. And in here, you'll see those same settings. We have delay, duration, and ease in. So I can set these to be whatever I'd like. Maybe I want a second of duration and some light easing here. Great. So I can move these three set position Y actions off of my tap trigger and onto my animate block. And there's two sections here, either on the animate section itself or on the on complete section. For now, we're going to put it on the animate section and we'll come back to on complete in a bit. So I have everything added to this animate block. And when I tap, you can see it's still not following the animation settings of our animate block. It's still following all of these individual animate settings. And that's because any animate settings that are on the action will overwrite any animate settings from the animate block. So in order to have all of my actions animate the same way as this block, I need to turn off the animate property on each of my actions. And now you can see all of them will follow along with the animate settings in this animate block. So if all of the actions on the animate block will animate according to the animation settings, all of the actions on the on complete block will animate or not animate, depending on their properties, after this animation has completed. So in this case, we could add a reset all properties action to our on complete. And maybe we'll make this the card and I'll just duplicate this two more times to reset the properties for all of the cards on our page, all three of them. And you can see when I do this, they animate and then they come right back down when the animation is completed. And they also animate back in because I have the animate property turned on on all of these reset all properties actions here. And that's the animate block in Interactions 2.0. Thanks so much for watching this video.